Hi, this is uh, Prithpal Bogil. I'm a principal architect with Apigee and their pre-sales team. Uh, today in this short video demonstration, I'm going to be showing you uh, how to essentially apply policies uh, that are global or common in nature uh, during your build process. So this is very typical of the use case where you may have a bunch of developers who are working on uh, uh, building API proxies within Apigee but there are some cross-cutting concerns such as security or logging. And essentially you wanna be able to apply those policies uh, in a global way across all the API proxies. In this uh, example, I'm gonna be uh, showcasing the Apigee Maven plugin. This plugin has been developed by Geeks and has been contributed to the Maven central repository. So let's get right, right into it. So uh, on this slide, you can see the, the two specific plugins that I'm going to be using for this, uh, uh, this short demonstration. The first one is the Deploy Maven plugin, and that helps you take a underlying proxy uh, folder structure, and uh, uh, it has the ability to be able to deploy that API proxy to a specific org and environment. And then the second one is the, the Dependency Maven plugin, and this one in particular uh, is going to be referencing certain common policies that we want to apply across multiple policies, uh, across multiple proxies, and then uh, using a uh, find and substitution process, it will insert those policies in the, the target proxies uh, where you want them and in different locations. So to do that, let's first very quickly examine the anatomy of an API proxy. Uh, when you download a zip bundle of the API proxy, essentially the anatomy of the API proxy looks like this. You have a policies folder where all the policies go. The proxies folder has the, uh, the proxy endpoints, the resources, any JavaScript resources, Java resources, etc. And then the targets also has a configuration out here, which represents the target endpoint. At the end of the day, uh, essentially an API proxy is nothing but a bunch of XML descriptors. Uh, which represent the policies and also the way the policies are referenced in different flows, they are captured in these XMLs out here. Uh, for this piece, we are also going to need a flow frag file and that is nothing but a series of steps referencing the policy that you want inserted or attached automatically to this API proxy. So in this use case, think about this API proxy on the left hand side being built by an API developer, uh, but there could be many of these and then uh, on the right, you, uh, as a DevOps admin, potentially has the responsibility of applying some common policies across all the API proxies that are built on the left by API developers, right? So let's quickly show you how to do that using the uh, using the uh, Apigee Maven plugins. Okay, so I'm going to uh, uh, go into uh, my browser here. You can see here's the uh, dependency Maven plugin. There's some information on this out here, which you can use. I'm going to start off with showing you uh, an actual API proxy. I'm logged into Apigee Edge out here, and you can see that I have a Maven Test Hotels API proxy that's deployed that only has one uh, policy called extract headers, which is attached in the preflow in the preflow of the proxy endpoint. It doesn't have any other uh, specific uh, policies. So my goal is, uh, as part of a DevOps. Uh, I'm going to take this API proxy and I want to be able to attach and insert uh, the right common set of policies at different locations. So uh, as I go through this demo, you'll see there'll be a bunch of different policies that I'm going to insert out here at the preflow level uh, before this policy. So those are gonna be policies such as security checks, uh, potentially some uh, traffic management policies like spike arrest. And then on the target endpoint, I want to be able to attach a message logging policy so we can log all outgoing requests to uh, any backend targets. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to go down to this uh, folder here. Uh, this is uh, my uh, uh, folder on my Mac here. And you can see I have unpacked some of the API proxies out here. There is a common proxy that I have declared out here, which has those three policies that I want to be attached to the preflow of the, uh, the API proxy, the, the target API proxy. And then within the common target endpoint policies uh, proxy, I actually have a 
message logging policy which I want uh, it to be attached to the target endpoint of the uh, the Maven test hotels uh, uh, proxy okay what you will also notice is that there are two files uh, that I want to call out the common policies flow frag file and the common target endpoint policies to flow frag file so these are the flow frag files which essentially have uh, definitions in them around what steps in which sequence do these policies want to be attached and this one represents the sequence of how this policy wants to be attached okay so if I go over to my editor here you can see the common target endpoint policies uh, flow frag out here just has this step that I need to be inserted and uh, in the common policies flow frag these are the three steps that I want inserted in the the preflow of the the generated proxy okay additionally what you will notice is I have unpacked the maven test hotels API proxy out here you can see it only has the extract headers uh, uh, policy attached right now within the default file of the proxy and the default file XML of the target we are going to add certain references so in this case I'm going to switch back to my editor I have these files opened here I'm going to attach in the in the pro, in the property file in the uh, default XML of the proxy uh, you can see that I am referencing the common policies flow fragment out here so I want those three policies uh, <coughs> excuse me the spike arrest the the header and the verify OAuth I want them attached here before the extract headers policy okay and in the target endpoint of the same proxy I want the common target endpoint policies which is nothing but the message logging policy I want that attached at the preflow of the target endpoint okay um, as uh, for the requirements of the the maven plugin you do need to um, create a couple of pom files one is a shared pom file which is actually uh, residing here in this top level folder within the maven folder here you can see that i have the shared pom file at this level okay and then i also have a pom.xml which is inside the actual maven test hotels uh, proxy folder okay so let's reference them real quick here I'm not going to cover each and every element but here's the shared pom file you can see that it has a bunch of other repositories that it is accessing out here but more importantly it accesses the the maven plugin right that's the deploy plugin and you can see different targets and I have different profiles created here in the pom file out here I have uh, the the child pom file I actually have uh, I'm using the dependency maven plugin right here right and you can see that I have referenced two of the proxy uh, folders where I want the common policies sourced from so I have the common proxy folder in which you have policies that I want to attach to the preflow of the proxy and then I have policies out here which I want to be attached to the uh, preflow of the target endpoint within the same proxy okay and the proxy that we are going to attach it to is right out here called the maven test hotels right now as you can see it doesn't have any uh, policies besides the one that I have out here okay so let's do a quick uh, test out here I'm going to first run the maven clean target okay and uh, that runs successfully now you can see that I have revision 9 out here and now I'm going to actually run this Maven command to actually uh, do a few things. Copy the, uh, the resources, uh, the policies, and then also deploy it. So as you can see, it's going through the deploy process, and now we have deployed revision number 10. Okay, so it went through quite a few things. Uh, I'm sure you can uh, uh, check those out when you run this thing yourself. But now let's go out here uh, go back to the API proxies and see if we have version 10 yep we can see that version 10 or revision 10 I'm sorry is deployed out here and if I go into the API proxy you can see as we expected 
I have these common set of policies or global policies applied out here to spike arrest, uh, verify, OAuth, and then remove some things. They got added right before the extract header policy, which is exactly where we needed. You can also see that there's a message logging policy out here, and we wanted that to be attached to the target endpoint preflow, and you can see that is exactly the case. Okay, hopefully this uh, gave you a, uh, a quick uh, peek into the, uh, the Apigee uh, Maven plugin capabilities. You can use these uh, uh, handy tools to be able to insert some common slash global policies across multiple API proxies that your development team is building and make it super easy to be able to commonly enforce certain uh, requirements around security, logging, etc. Okay, I, I hope you uh, enjoyed watching this video segment and please go to community.apg.com if you have additional questions. Thanks for your time.